Hello and welcome to a new Scale 500 news video. I do apologize for my voice and my looks, but I am ill. Um, but we will power through this video because we have some important news coming directly from Harpa Wings as they have finally announced their 0708 releases. So let's take a closer look at that together to see what Harpa has come up with and what they want to release very soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is the front page of the 0708 release batch catalog from Harper Wings with a lovely MD-11, so maybe there is also one inside in scale 500. But the start makes this Airbus A330-200 in the new livery of Air France. I guess a model you could say that they can make, but maybe not had to make. Um, it's for sure not the most necessary model. Um, I haven't really seen anyone having this very high on their wish list, but I guess since we haven't had it in the new Air France livery so far, sure, why not? But, well, not really a model that I will be going for, for sure. And the same thing is also with the Delta Airlines Airbus A350-900. This is the third iteration of this aircraft model. I already have the first two ones, which is why I will be skipping this one. But if you haven't bought the other ones, there's one interesting addition to this aircraft model compared to the two previous ones. Uh, apart from a probably new registration code, you also have this little sticker here on the side saying the Delta Spirit. Next up, we have this Emirates Airbus A380 in the Destination Dubai Special Livery. Uh, also not a model that I will be collecting. Uh, I'm just not interested in the special liveries of Emirates. But I'm sure there are some collectors that are very excited for this very colorful aircraft model. Of course, we don't know what it will be costing us since Hapa, for the very first time, has not added the official retail prices of their models in the catalog. Very anti-consumer, very intransparent. If we take the prices of previous releases, um, then we would probably be at least at 45 euros. But um, I guess this could be even more. But we will see. Hopefully in a few weeks, we will know what the official retail prices will be and uh, we'll be making an update if there are significant price changes for sure. Then we have an ATR 72600 of Azul, something for the South American collectors in this very cool livery with the Brazilian flag. Um, of course, it doesn't really match my um, fleet or the area that I'm collecting, so it's also not really going to be a model that I will be buying, but I'm happy for those South American collectors that there is finally some more regional um, that is offered from Harper Wings for those collectors. Then we have two models that Harper has shown many times, but we just have been waiting to see when they finally will be releasing them, and now it is time. The ETA Airways Airbus A350, the first ETA Airways model in the blue livery, um, will be coming in the 0708 release batch. So that's good news. And then finally, I think the most anticipated model on this page, at least from the catalog, is the ATR of Binta. I have been waiting for this for a long time and I'm very much looking forward to this one. This is definitely a model that I will be getting for sure. On the next page, we have a KLM Boeing 777-200. I guess also a model that we haven't had so far. We haven't had a 777-200 in KLM in their current livery. So I guess they are in that sense completing the KLM fleet. But also here, maybe not the most exciting model, at least in my opinion. Then we have a Lufthansa Dreamliner. This is already the second iteration of that model. So now we have a different registration code. Um, one fair warning to those who are thinking about getting such a Dreamliner, you should know that these early Dreamliners that Lufthansa has added to their fleet, they will probably all be moved to Austrian Airlines, so they won't be there for very long in the Lufthansa fleet. Uh, so if you want to have a up-to-date current um, fleet, well, I mean, this model might not be that up-to-date and current for very long. And then we have another Lufthansa aircraft model, in this case an Airbus A380. And if I'm not already sounding disinterested because I'm ill, well then it's because I am disinterested. I mean, collectors have been asking Herpa to produce maybe a standard livery 319 or 20. And Herpa continues to produce just past what collectors want. They have said that they want to complete the Lufthansa fleet, especially also with standard livery aircraft models, but then they just throw out one wide body after the other and models that we have already had. So honestly speaking, yes, I am just really, really bored with this, but well, that's Harper for you. Something I'm however much more excited about 
is the Hawaiian Airlines Airbus A321neo. Now, I'm not sure I will be getting this aircraft model because I don't think it quite fits my collection, but it is a really lovely looking aircraft model. So I might get it just for that. Okay, we don't know what it will be costing. That's a huge drawback, but um, at some point we will, of course, find out what the official retail price is, and then I will make my final decision if it's worth getting or not. Then we have a model that I really did not see coming. Um, it's a 7478 BBJ. I mean, we knew that Harper wanted to do more stuff like that, um, but in the previous release batch, we already had um, a, a, well, a Qatar Amiri or something like that. But now we get it from the Moroccan government, um, which is, I think, it's a cool addition. Uh, as I say, this is really something I didn't quite see coming. Um, I had expected it from the Turkish government, perhaps, but not the Moroccan. Um, so this could be a quite interesting addition to people's collection um, if they're into governmental aircraft. This is certainly something we haven't seen from Happy Wings so far. Then we have a quite interesting addition, and that is the Lot Polish Airlines Embraer ERJ195. And if you now say, well, wait a minute, didn't we basically just get that? And you're not wrong. Um, this is now the second iteration. Now, what I can hope is that with this aircraft model, they would then have finally gotten the colors correct, because with the last one, of course, the blue tones were all wrong. Um, but when I look at the image here, it doesn't look like it. This could, however, be an image of the previous version, which they're then just reusing for this catalog. Um, but honestly speaking, I don't have high hopes. I would say save your money, even though we still don't know what it will be costing. But if you have got the first model, there's probably very little reason to actually also get this one. Um, especially if they haven't managed to fix the issues. But to be fair, it is a little bit too early to say if they have. So at the very least, when the model has been released and is in shops, do check it there to see if they have fixed the color issue. Um, it's probably not a model I will be spending any time with because, as I said, I had the first one, so there's no reason to buy this one. Then we have a reiteration of the UPS MD-11F. So we do get an MD-11F in scale 500 in this release batch. Uh, of course, many years ago, we already had one, but this is uh, supposedly with the updated livery. Honestly speaking, I don't really know where the UPS livery has changed that much. But in any case, for all those who have missed the MD-11F when it was released many years ago, this is a chance for you to add it to your collection. So I guess that is quite a right. One issue, of course, with Harper Wings MD-11 aircraft models is always the cockpit windows. So that's something you need to take a look at before you buy the model when it is released to see if Harper has done right or wrong. And then the final scale 500 model that I think pretty much all collectors, at least in Europe, have been waiting for for years. And that is the Airbus A320 from Wizz Air. I was, of course, able to already talk about this uh, quite a few months ago when Harper first showed a, well, at least part of a sample model uh, during an event at Dietenhofen, and we got some images of that. Um, and now it is finally being uh, released, or at least announced for the 0708 release batch. We will, of course, have to wait and see if it then also arrives on time, but this is the first important step, of course, in the pursuit of finally getting a new Wizz Air in scale 500. I am sure this model will be sold out very quickly, so do yourself a favor. Um, normally, I don't recommend pre-ordering, but I think in this case, it is a very prudent thing to do to pre-order this model because this will be gone very quickly. So those are the scale 500 models that Harper wants to release in the 0708 batch. Are there any models there of interest for you or is there something missing? And what do you think about the quite intransparent and anti-consumer move of not adding the official retail prices with this catalog? This is, by the way, the first time Harper has ever left out these prices since they have started releasing these uh, catalogs, I think, since 2001. Let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are on that and, of course, the models here shown in the video. And as always, if you like this type of content, don't forget to leave a like. And if you are new around here, why not hit subscribe? With that, thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.